what's up there, Diesel First. So today as a follow-up on my videos about how to find small and large AC leaks and then as a result how to uh, remove and replace your AC compressor, uh, I'm going to show you how you can put a vacuum on your car's AC system. And to clarify, putting a vacuum on your AC system is not the same as uh, recovering refrigerant from your AC system. If you need to recover uh, the refrigerant that's in your system, uh, then I suggest you take the, your car to a shop and you can call around and then you, uh, you should be able to get a pretty decent price on just recovering the refrigerant from the system and then you can do your own repairs and uh, probably save a lot of money that way. Basically when you put a vacuum on your AC system you just remove a little bit of uh, moisture and the vapors that got there when after or during when you were doing your uh, repairs on your AC system. In our case we were replaced the AC compressor plus the desiccant element in our uh, AC system. So now we need to put a vacuum to remove the, the moisture that's normally in the atmosphere that gets into our AC system whenever you open it up. And then at the same time after you pull a vacuum then you can also verify that your AC system holds a vacuum and if it does hold a vacuum then that means you don't have any leaks in your AC system and then you can go on to adding refrigerant into the system. Alright now as far as what you'll need in order to be able to put a vacuum on your AC system well the first thing is going to be this AC manifold gauge set. As you can see this gauge set has two gauges. One is going to be for your high pressure side. It's going to be for your low pressure side. It also has these two hoses. This red one is going to go over your uh, the, the fitting that's on your high pressure line by the way of this uh, quick connect coupler. And this blue one is going to go on the fitting on your low pressure side. Uh, these are not only color coded but you really can misplace this because uh, the fittings are going to be different sizes as you can see from the bottom of these uh, quick connect couplers. Also these things here are just there so that you can uh, rest your uh, quick connect couplers over. They don't really serve any other purpose but that. Alright so the first thing you want to do on this gauge set is to make sure these valves are all the way open or in other words turned all the way counterclockwise. Alright and also you'll have two valves on your AC uh, manifold gauge set but as you can see I only have one but that's only because the uh, one right here which should be red has broken off but this valve is still operational. I can twist it by hand or if I get a plier on it. But you only use these two valves whenever you're using this uh, middle hose which is for either putting refrigerant into the system or as we're about to do uh, put a vacuum on the system. And this uh, center hose looks like this basically. And you can screw this to the top of a can of a refrigerant or a vacuum pump. But we'll get to the operating procedure of how to put a vacuum on the system in a little bit but that's, that, was, that was just a quick guide on uh, how an AC manifold uh, gauge set works. And next you'll need a vacuum pump. And again you can rent these at your local auto parts store, just have to give them a deposit. I got this from AutoZone and the deposit was only $150. So, or you can just uh, buy a cheap one at Harbor Freight for about $100-$120. Bucks. And you usually have these uh, two types of fittings on your AC uh, vacuum pumps. Our hose is just going to fit over this one so we're just going to go ahead and close this one up. Alright another thing to make a note of is that these vacuum pumps will require their own specialized vacuum pump oil and uh, when you rent them sometimes they don't come with their own oil and then you have to purchase that separately and the funny thing is that AutoZone doesn't carry vacuum pump oil so you need to plan ahead of time. Okay so we get our quick connect coupler from AC Manifold gauge set and put it on here. Make sure it locks in place. Alright next we'll run this valve down to press on our uh, shredder valve which will open up the system. And then attach our uh, blue quick connect cup. And then we'll open up this valve as well. Next we'll remove this metal hose from our manifold gauge set. And then we screw it onto our uh, AC vacuum pump. There we go. Alright next we'll just turn on our vacuum pump. Alright so next we're going to open these two valves and that's going to allow us to put a vacuum on our AC system through these two lines that are attached to the high and low pressure side of our uh, AC system. And also as we open these, this needle on our gauge is going to go below zero, uh, further indicating that we're putting a vacuum on the AC system. So here's our low side. There we go. And here's our high pressure side. Alright, here's a closer look at our gauges. Alright, now we're just going to wait about an hour or so and then uh, come back. Uh, some people like to put a vacuum on the system a lot longer. And it just depends how long was the, the AC system open to the atmosphere. If, you know, if you started working on your AC system and then 
went and uh, came back after like a week or so, then go ahead and put a vacuum on the system for maybe a couple hours, maybe even overnight, uh, just to be on the safe side. But you know, if you just open up the system, replace something like we did, like uh, you know, our air compressor, about an hour or so should be plenty. All right, so it's been about an hour and a half since we turned on our vacuum pump. So now we're ready to turn off our uh, vacuum pump. But before you actually turn off your vacuum pump, it's very important that you uh, close these valves first. Because if you turn off your pump, then close these valves, then you're going to lose vacuum more than likely. And we don't want that to happen. We want to keep our vacuum that's in the system. And that's going to be a way of us uh, measuring whether we have a leak or not. So we're going to turn these valves all the way clockwise first. So there's our low pressure side, here's our high pressure side. Then we're going to turn off our vacuum pump. And what we want to see is basically this, the needles on our uh, pressure gauge being below zero or where they were as we were pulling a vacuum uh, with our uh, vacuum pump. And what basically this means is that there's no leaks in the AC system or at least in the circuit including the RAC system all the way up to these lines coming to our valves. So actually both uh, this test and also the operation of uh, putting a vacuum on the system requires that you have nice tight airtight fittings on your uh, manifold gauge. So make sure you put some uh, Teflon tape on your connectors. Alright so in order to be sure there's actually no leaks in the system we're just going to let this sit for about 45 minutes to an hour and then come back and if these needles haven't moved then we're verified that we don't have any uh, leaks in our AC system. Alright so it's been an hour and as you can see our needles and our gauges haven't moved at all which is uh, great news. So basically this means that we verified that we don't have any leaks on our AC system. Alright now all that's left to do is to remove our uh, quick connect couplers but before you do that make sure you uh, turn these all the way uh, counterclockwise. Okay? Alright the next step is going to be to add a refrigerant to the system and if you want to see how that's done then I suggest you watch this video. I'll put a link to it right here on the screen. I'll also put some uh, other links to other AC related videos I've made in a second. But uh, yeah, if you found anything in this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more like it. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.